So some of the video shorts we've been doing have been questions that were asked at the conferences and we're covering them. Most of these are really, really good questions. Predestination, cremation, absolution, the confessional seal. Now we're going to get to one that's a little goofy. And I know this comes from Pastor Wolf Mueller. Brian, if you don't know him, Brian Wolf Mueller of Austin, Texas. He's a pretty good guy. Um, I know he put one of his, his kids up for this, um, up to this, and I know it. It was, Pastor Hall, how many fruit cups did you consume when you were in Madagascar? Now, he asked this question because years ago, this was back in 2014, Pastor Wolf Mueller and I, Pastor Gay Glein out in Oregon, and Dr. John Pless of Concordia Theological Seminary, Fort Wayne, Indiana, all went to Madagascar to teach a conference. And on the, I had already been to, this, to Madagascar prior to this, and I got sick as a dog. I don't, my, I have a sensitive tummy. It's, it's sizable, but sensitive. So before I left, my wife, who is a saint, packed a bunch of kind bars, because she's kind, a bunch of emergency packets, and then probably 50 fruit cups, the little peaches, and, and the mango, and pineapple, and papaya, because papaya is good for your tummy. And she said, eat one of these or a couple a day on top of what you eat. Problem was, I decided I'm just going to live off this for a week. I'm not going to chance it. Uh, they, and, they, and I insulted the people there. That's the reality. Did Pastor Hull insult someone? Guess what? The answer is always yes. They made great food for us, and I didn't eat it because I was scared to get sick again. But my wife's fruit cups and palm free at night, meaning French fries, freedom fries, however you want to say it. I lived off that and fruit cups and kind bars for a week. Lost eight pounds. Didn't feel great. So the moral of the story is this. Did I trust that the Lord would carry me through that week? No, I didn't. I was doubt ridden. I thought, okay, I'm going to get sick, so I'm not going to risk it, and I'm going to insult my neighbor. And I did do that, so I repent of that. Forgive me, you women that slaved to make such amazing food. And I said, I'm going to have my canned peaches that were made in Akron, Ohio instead. Then you have the great thing of the story, my wife. Allison Desiree Monkhull. Actually, it's now Allison Monkhull. The Desiree's not in there anymore. She only gets called that when she's being really nice. She packed all that stuff because she loves me and wanted to make sure I was okay. So how do we treat this? Don't be like me, Pastor Hall. Be like Allison Hall and do everything you can for the love of your neighbor. Be like those people in Madagascar that will sacrifice out of their poverty to take care of you. And most importantly, don't be like Pastor Wolf Mueller and continue calling out people's past sins. I'm joking. I love you. He's sweet. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.